everybody. Let's take a look at what it looks like to multiply with a compass and straight edge. So here's my straight edge, okay, not using the ruler part, and here's my compass. So let's take a look at what it would look like to multiply, I don't know, let's multiply, uh, make it easy here. We're going to multiply 2 by 3 and see what we get, okay? So to start off with, I am going to give myself a straight line, and I'm going to mark off, there's my starting point right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, my 1 going, whatever my 1 looks like. So just arbitrarily chosen this length right here to be 1. So there's 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so I can now from here pull out the numbers 2 and 3 from the value that I set up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to create... Uh, a box here. And I'm going to make sure I do this and give myself enough room here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is draw this line here. I'm going to start at this corner right here. Now, because multiplication, and if you, you think about this, multiplication is, is actually like finding the area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, an area here to, to illustrate the mul multiplication here. But what I need to do is then create a box. So I'm going to use what I know, and actually I should actually have given myself just a little bit more room here. I'm going to extend this line and then I'm going to draw a, a perpendicular line to this line right here. To, oh, sorry, to this line right here through this dot. So to draw my perpendicular line, I'm going to put a little mark there, put a little mark there, put a little mark there. And, and we've gone over how to do this in a, in a previous video, so now I'm going to open up my compass a little bit put an arc there, put an arc oops, there, and now if I connect the starting point to the point of intersection of those two arcs, okay, I give myself a line segment that is perpendicular to the one that I started with. And now, just to clarify what I'm doing, I'm going to erase my little marks right there just to make it so easier for me to see. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, I'm gonna draw, uh, whoops, I wanna do two by three here, I'm gonna multiply two by three, so I'm gonna multiply, I'm gonna put two along this direction right here. Now, I already know what two looks like. Two is gonna be out here. So two, is going to end right there, and I know what 3 looks like, okay, and 3 I'm going to put along this uh, vertical line, and I'm going to end that right there, so you can't see that, so I'll move up a little bit. So here's where my 3 ends, and here's where my 2 ends. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw perpendicular lines, okay, to the lines given, through those particular points that I just uh, just found here. So here, I'm going to draw arc and an arc, open it up, arc, and then through there, another arc. Connect the end point of the two with that point of intersection. There's another perpendicular line. I'm going to erase the little marks that I left there so that I can see clearly what I'm going to do later on here. And then the same thing here. And actually at this point, I can take a little bit of a cheat here. Okay, I'm actually going to, to get my length of 3. Okay, and then I'm just going to go down <coughs> that length of 3. Make that little arc right there. And now I'm going to connect those two. So now the area of this rectangle here is going to be the product of my 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is going to equal the area here. Well, what's the area? Well, I don't know. Let's go through and identify what our 1 is. Okay, so if I put the 1 here, Put the one there. Okay, that's it. broken it up right there. So come down the one. Whoops. Oh, 
my compass bent on me. Hold on a second. Let's go back and get the one. The nice thing is, is if you've established what your one is, you can always grab it again as best you can. So put a one, put the two. Yeah, actually, actually pretty good. One, two, three. Now I'm going to do that over here. One, two, and then the three there, and that actually works really nicely. And then I'm going to go along my bottom here, put my one. So now I've broken this into two, and if I connect those, I give myself a situation here where now I can just count it out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two times three is going to equal six. Now I know that is a very long, hard way to do this, but it's a way of showing you how you could multiply using a compass and a straight edge.